Hey guys, this is VB Theory, and this is another Visual Basic tutorial. <clears throat> so today's tutorial is uh, how to make your own custom uh, your own custom installer. <clears throat> so you don't need any other programs. So what I did here is uh, I've started a new project. I have uh, added uh, a label, a uh, text box, two buttons, and two check boxes. Uh, let's change the buttons one, the button one's text to browse, and the second one to install. And the the text box text will be your default installation location which will be C backspace backslash <coughs> program files backslash uh, test for example and always add a backslash at the end change the read only value to true so that the user doesn't change it double click the browse button and type in folder in browser one the dialog one dot show dialog and now text box one dot text equals uh, <coughs> uh, text folder browser one dialog dot selected pass and since you won't add the backslash we will add it manually okay so now double click uh, first let's import our uh, files so uh, resources and go to others add resource add existing file browse to your files which are these guys remember those names because you're gonna need them need them yes and now double click the install button and uh, since this button will have two functions we're gonna uh, uh, make the program select the function depending on the button's name so if button one dot text equals install then uh, now when the button two actually sorry dot text equals install like that it will disable the button one so button one dot enabled equals false button two dot enabled equals false now it's gonna start installing so this is the hard part so bear with me my dot computer dot file system dot write all bytes and open parentheses now uh, this is the path where you want to install your file so it's text box one dot text and plus between quote marks type in your file name plus the extension so calculator dot exe and close the quote marks comma my dot resources dot calculator another comma and type in false now we'll do the same thing for uh, the, the other file you can do this uh, as much as you need depending on how many files you got text box one dot text plus your file name which is readme dot pdf don't forget the the extension or else it won't work comma my dot resources dot readme 
and uh, another comma and false and close the parentheses. Now once it's done, these two buttons will uh, be re-enabled. Actually the first button doesn't re need to be re-enabled. So this one will become true. And uh, what else? Uh, then text will change dot text equals um, exit and type in exit sub now we're gonna check another thing F button 2 dot <clears throat> text equals exit then so now once it's installed it will uh, do this function so it's uh, now once it's clicked and the text is exit it will check if uh, these two checkboxes are checked okay so I'll be right back uh, someone is ringing okay sorry guys for that interruption now uh, the button will check if the checkbox one is checked sorry checked sorry um I have a lot of typos there equals true then uh, so the checkbox one is this one so it will open the program so type in system dot diagnostics dot process dot start and between parentheses uh, put in the path of your file which is textbox one dot text plus calculator dot exe close the parenthesis now if checkbox one two dot checked equals true then system dot diagnostics dot process dot start in between parentheses again text box one dot text plus uh, readme dot pdf and then it will close okay so I think it should be it uh, let's browse to make a new folder we want to open the program and see the readme install and it's done now exit it should run both so here's the readme and here's the calculator so the code will be in my uh, website go ahead and check it out uh, vbcre.blogspot.com and uh, yeah thank you for watching